Um, so Taranjit is currently pursuing his master's in quality system engineering from Concordia University. And um, so let's just jump into the questions. The first question is by Raghu and Gurleen. Should we take online classes for for fall 20 or mm -hmm. prefer to winter or fall 21? Actually, that's uh, one of the most asked question now that nowadays. So what I uh, especially recommend is that you should go on with your fall intake mm -hmm. because at least for one semester you save around four thousand to five thousand dollars. So for that semester you have your fees, you get your GIC started when you arrive here. So it's a profitable thing to do. Moreover, it doesn't matter much uh, while taking the online classes and online classes are a bit easier and the um, professors are quite cooperative while uh, mm -hmm. conducting the classes and conducting the exams. Mm -hmm. So there's no loss in taking the fall in 20 semester. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, right. So, so, so there is no harm in taking. Uh, no, no, you are, you are, you are a total benefit, total profit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, right. So, a lot of students have asked about the part time job opportunities in um, Montreal and if mm -hmm. freelancing is possible. Of course, freelancing is possible. Uh, you just need to work on your R limit. There's a specific R limit, as every one of you would be aware of. There's a particular 20 hour limit. On the full-time students for now the government has lifted that um, restriction from the uh, international students they have allowed to work for part uh, full-time hours work mm -hmm. so with COVID-19 but that's a special condition so yeah you can do freelancing and about the part-time job opportunities you can easily get the part-time mm -hmm. jobs mm -hmm. but you have to have patience because for even me, I mm -hmm. tried for two months and after two months, I got my first part-time job. So, yeah, you get some, even get their part-time job even in a week. There mm -hmm. are different agencies that guide you over to the part-time jobs and mm -hmm. they are direct hiring from the companies as well. Okay, right. And, and what is the average pay for the part-time job in Montreal? So, the average pay increases every year that depends on the province mm -hmm. so for the quebec um it is 13.1 dollar per hour 13.1 mm -hmm. 13.2 okay. dollar per hour mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. so the next question is by ashinder and shaya um they they have applied for fall 20 and spring 21 respectively for uh, masters in quality systems uh, engineering in concordia Mm -hmm. And they're asking how much time do they take to declare the results? The results are in their admissions, ad yes, offer yes. letters, right? Yes. So yes. Um, at, they usually take six weeks, but uh, there are times when the systems are quite slow, especially at this moment, because all the services are shifted online. So you can wait. Uh, when I share my experience, I can surely uh, say that yeah you should actually wait at least for this uh, june month because mm -hmm. uh, when i applied i applied for the winter semester mm -hmm. and i got my application uh, the offer letter accepted by mid november so that was the time when i got and after that i applied for the caq then the visa so that was the process so you should at, at least wait, wait for this june month you okay. will surely get an answer because they are still processing applications. Some students have got their offer letters la just last week. So you mm -hmm. should wait. Okay, okay, got it. Um, Sakshi has asked how to make a university application stand out. How to make your stand university application stand out? Well, um, you have to be quite thorough with your LOR. LOR is one key aspect that matters a lot. Plus your profile, your profile must include your uh, educational qualifications, all the experience and your curricular activities are one of the most important aspects they usually refer to. Irrespective mm -hmm. of whatever experience in your field you have in your home country, you should mention it. That's a okay. big help. Okay, right. Uh, so on the same lines, Varun has asked, how do you compensate for a low CGPA? Well, um, come, uh, universities do prefer a particular uh, CGPA for the admission process. So 
I don't know if they would compensate for it, but obviously you can give it a try because um, there have been some scenarios where they have accepted low CTP profiles, but um, because of their um, curricular activities and their participation in community welfare programs, mm -hmm. they have accepted the students. Right. So for a student in India, how can he, you know, um, get such ex uh, such experience, right? Such opportunities for community like welfare you, or volunteering? What you have, they see what you have given to the community, like working with the NGOs, um, uh -huh. doing some social welfare activities, uh, mm. helping the society out with a particular program. So those are the things mm. that might help you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So the next question is, um, what is the difference between or advantages of masters from a university versus a PG diploma mm -hmm. from a college? Well, to be very frank, um, my uh, friends, there are a lot of friends who are in college and the first thing they ask is what is your fees? So mm. to be very honest, the fees is almost the same. There's mm -hmm. no difference. Or hardly five hundred dollars. There's mm -hmm. no big difference in the PC. So, and moreover, master's degree has more value. You can say, because mm -hmm. at the end they check your skills. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, while applying for the PE or when you go for the higher processes, uh, mm -hmm. the master's degree adds more points to your uh, that PR table. Yeah, application. Okay. So that is the benefit moreover at the universities you get more exposure there are different societies mm -hmm. there are different groups that help you out with things and mm -hmm. universities even conduct different programs like international student exchange program so you can have mm -hmm. a chance to visit different countries as well while studying here mm -hmm. so these are some of the benefits working uh, studying at the university Moreover, at universities, you get on-campus jobs, which are far more benefiting than the colleges. Uh -huh. And I have visited a few colleges and you will see a great difference uh, while attending classes in colleges and those at the universities. Okay, so uh, here in the chat and comments, we have a question. Uh, will diploma versus masters in university have any impact on job opportunities? No. I guess we have answered. No. Oh. You have no impact on the job opportunity. It depends, uh, completely depends on your skill set. Okay, right, right. Okay. So the next question is: What are the job opportunities post study in Canada, especially for quality systems engineering? This question is by Ashwarya and Uh Well, just begin. Yeah, uh, for the uh, post study experience as well. Uh, for the quality system, especially because I'm also a quality system student. Okay. So uh, for those students, uh, there have been a boom for quality system jobs uh, since 2017 in Canada. And as you know, Montreal is one of the um, biggest technological hubs. So there are a lot of job opportunities. If we exclude this COVID-19 uh, pandemic situation, uh, where there have been a lot of job losses, so uh, there have been quite demand for quality systems engineering students. Okay, okay. And uh, one attendee is asking in the, in the comments, um, job opportunity for mechanical engineering in Canada. Well, actually, mechanical engineers get um, uh, what called yeah those internships. They get internships faster than any of the computer science or quality system students. Oh, okay. So that's actually a benefit for them. So we have one question from Divanshu. Uh, which intake do you think is best uh, for students, uh, the spring intake or fall intake? Hmm. Or, spring intake, or can I, spring hmm. intake actually limits your uh, opportunities, I guess. Uh, the fall semester or winter semester is much more preferable. Spring intake, uh -huh. I guess, uh, almost takes a year and a half to uh, catch up with the other guys because uh, I took admission in winter uh, intake. So 
while uh, at this time many of the students are obviously September intake many of the students are doing their internships we are still going on with our summer uh, semester so uh, that is the only difference i guess but uh, i'm not much aware of the spring intake cause no university at least in montreal or quebec there is no university that provides spring intake there are only the colleges and colleges uh, do have their own uh, spectrum to proceed on with the studies so they the students there are, are okay with it and sometimes they even aren't because attendance is a big issue in colleges but in university that isn't the problem okay okay right so we have one question here what's the average masters class profile age so the average age for a student who is doing masters in canada <laughs> i'm 23 so there have been a lot of people that ask me oh you are too young to do the, to do your masters so uh, i can you can guess your answer with that there are a lot of uh -huh. people who are actually parents who have one or two children so they are even uh, proceeding up with their masters that's just a you can say a mentality in india that you have to do your masters after bachelor's to get a uh, good profile for job but that isn't the thing here so they um, do their masters when they achieve a peak after their under graduation and they want a boom mm -hmm. that is the point they uh, start going on for their masters but okay. um, it is okay you will uh, find many people of your age and you will go on with it everyone is helping so there's not much of an issue for the age okay. factor right right so we have one question from joshi uh, what is the current situation of september intake um, means uh, uh, you know the offline class uh, so i guess you have answered it right so if if you have got an intake for september 21 september 20 you should go for it right yeah sure go for it you are a total profit for it cuz uh, there are a lot of factors that actually count in uh, first of all gic gets started when you arrive here so mm. for the uh, when you join in the september intake for september to december your gic is not activated so you save that amount plus you save your rentals you save your groceries so all those expenses are saved Mm. and you are studying online so that is in the problem plus you will do your uh, core courses online which is a much help rather than doing uh, additional subjects right okay got it so the next question is uh, you know this question is asked by a lot of students what is the scope of pr in canada how difficult is it uh see um if you particularly talk about quebec quebec work a lot uh, a lot differently from other provinces and uh -huh. even they are to revise their uh, pr policies immigration policies uh, by the end of this month so mm -hmm. you will have to wait for those but uh, mm -hmm. for now if i talk about cubic you surely need to have a particular level of strength that is mm -hmm. compulsory and uh, otherwise um, yeah you need that uh, you need the pr points to apply for it or to be eligible for it what it is usually said is that the master students are easily applicable for the pr just after they complete their degree and have mm -hmm. a job experience of one year at least so they are eligible for applying for the pr and if you talk about the alberta ontario those are the provinces that students first target cuz the taking pr there is much more easier than any other province and uh, the pr points are easily completed by after doing the masters so that's why many of the students after completing uh, their degree irrespective of their province move mm -hmm. to ontario or alberta okay so um, it is easy to get pr in ontario or alberta as compared to montreal yes okay. yeah in on, even in ontario there are particular areas that provide you pr uh, much more fa much more in a faster way but mm -hmm. if you talk about toronto toronto takes uh, at least 
I don't know, uh, two years time. And there's a long waiting list when you apply for PR in Ontario. Okay, okay, got it. And what are the most important aspects which mm -hmm. are considered for PR, you know, the points? See, well, uh, in PR, there are a lot of aspects of your um, studies, uh, your degrees, your work experience, your, mm -hmm. um, and those are the two basic aspects they see. And uh, there's a particular site, uh, I don't remember it, what it is said. Uh, I'll just search it and uh, share it with you. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, so you can actually calculate your PR points there. There's a particular uh, set of questions they ask you and on the basis of on the basis of those points, they tell your score point on for the PR where you stand on the PR table. So you can uh, easily check up what is the current requirement for the for which of the provinces the current requirement of PR points is and you can see where you stand after or before completing a degree. Okay, okay, right. So we have one question over here. Um, uh, do companies visit universities for placements? Yeah, or they how do. Is, how is, okay. See, uh, there are two methods for universities. Yes, companies surely visit the universities for the hiring of students. Secondly, uh, there are job fairs where companies um, visit and uh, in both the scenarios they just check your skill set how much capable you are and how much skills you have learned while being in the program so that is the only thing it doesn't matter uh, and it doesn't clearly uh, it, it isn't it is just that and if even the companies visit university, it doesn't guarantee you a job because mm -hmm. it isn't um, your mark or your degree that um, provides you with the job. It's completely how much knowledge you have of that particular field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Okay. So, okay, so we have for job opportunities, we have companies coming to campuses, we have um, uh, placement fairs, right? So sure. here are the main options. So Varun has asked a question here. Um, in campus research or assistance opportunities? Okay, so are, are any research or assistance opportunities available on campus? Yeah, they are, but you have to be very, um, you have to be quite aware of it because you never know those opportunities just come and go and you won't mm. even recognize them. Uh, you have to be, searching for them each and every day because uh, those opportunities just come once in a year. You can only apply for them in September. Okay. There are hardly any um, positions available during uh, January to July or August. So those opportunities and clearly come in uh, September. And where should a student search for research or assistance opportunities in university? The, um, the online page of Concordia is the best. They okay. post each and everything. When you uh, subscribe with, uh, there, there are different groups. There, like, there is grad pro schools. There is uh, international student department. So when mm. you, uh, uh, there is Concordia co-op page. So mm -hmm. when you uh, subscribe to those pages, you get uh, notifications online mm -hmm. automatically so that isn't the problem but uh, you need to be self-aware because they first post their, uh, all the updates on the site so when you go on for the Concordia on-campus jobs you will um, get uh, it will direct you to a page where it will mm -hmm. see all the options or all the profiles you can apply to and um, yeah, that would be all. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, right. So we have one more question from Varun. How has your experience with professors been? Um, also describe your experience in Canada versus uh, the Indian education. So education in Canada uh, versus Indian education. Well, um, there's a huge difference. Uh, professors here are quite helping uh, and they actually answer your queries. They don't focus on mugging up the things or mugging up the formulas they just go on with considering the absolute knowledge so they want you to understand the concept mm -hmm. it is always easy for you to reach out to professors 
even if it is in your current professor it's in the, if it's in the same department it will he will or she will help you out so there are particular subjects that are quite interesting in uh, quality systems so especially the core subject i guess uh, there was this one professor arish mohammed he mm -hmm. is and uh, he is an uh, okay guy and he actually helps you out with a lot of things mm -hmm. and uh, when he, um, the professors here when i say they are cooperative they actually help you when you have, like we had our midterms the class average wasn't good so mm -hmm. they talk to the university if the can provide with extra assignments so that the marks could be cooperated so be chilled out for the professors they are quite amazing mm -hmm. there are some that are quite uh, self centered and they and uh, take particularly side of their own uh -huh. like um, there's there are these arabic professors who actually uh, give reference to their arab students so okay. that is the scenario but okay. otherwise it's quite okay it's a good right. experience right right so on the same lines as as we have seen over the last one month where there has been a lot of uh -huh. protests in the us regarding the black black lives matter uh, 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 protests so uh, have you seen any racism in canada or how is the situation in canada see uh, there are possibilities of racism uh, especially when you uh, mm -hmm. talk about uh, cubic uh -huh. cubic people work quite differently from all of the canada uh -huh. they uh -huh. just prefer uh, cubic sentiments not to be hurt okay so that's the scenario so there have been a point i guess uh one or two times one of my there was one of my friends he was actually said that uh why do you need jobs here why can't you find a job in your own country but that is the point with the old people okay mm. who are living mm. here for almost 80 to 90 years mm -hmm. so they are quite worried okay uh, what would happen to our culture to our sentiment otherwise it's a chilled out zone you don't need to mm -hmm. worry about it montreal mm -hmm. is one of the most happening cities of canada mm -hmm. so you can you will enjoy your time right right so uh, is it so we have a question from vinay dua is it compulsory to learn french in montreal and do we get paid for learning french yeah actually uh, the government institutes pay you it's uh, around uh, if you take a full time course uh they pay you around for oh no 820 dollars per month 820 dollars uh, okay yeah. okay so uh that tip totally depends on your attendance in the class but that's a quite difficult job to do because that mm -hmm. those classes are from monday to friday and it's from 9 am to 3 pm so that's the length of 9 am to 3 pm so it is yeah. 6 hours right 6 to 7 hours that's the okay. issue so although uh, can code uh, university students to be in specific they can cope up and cope up with that because uh, mm -hmm. the attendance doesn't matter in universities but still i won't recommend you to miss the classes because if once you miss a class it is quite difficult to catch up with the other topics in the class mm -hmm. so but uh, mm -hmm. there are uh, the opportunities of earning while learning french there are even part time opportunities but the pay is comparatively less uh -huh. and there is one more question uh, which particularly students get confused with is that if they work part time and they learn french uh -huh. from any government institution uh -huh. so does that count as your pay for the uh, yes, we have working hours yes, or have they would be compensated yes. in your part time hours that's not the case cuz um when i was here i was also confused about it and we visited mm. immigration office and the government office if that's the case so they clearly mentioned that you can work your part time hours while learning french cause this is a part of your education and our culture so we won't count it as your part time work okay okay, okay. so students can go to college they can also um, learn french and get paid and 
plus they can work for 20 hours yeah. but practically it is quite hard right it is quite difficult while uh, especially when you are a university student because you will have a lot of assignments your project work uh, your presentations uh, so you will uh, hardly get uh, time for all the things uh -huh. but if you choose one of them you can surely cope up with it okay okay so we have one question from um, nananjay how harsh is the cold in montreal how oh, do you survive in the winters it is quite okay, challenging winter. it is quite challenging uh, when i arrived here you um, if, uh, especially for the uh, winter intake people when you mm. will arrive here you will just see uh, a white sheet of snow everywhere and it gets interesting when it's uh, mid january and the end of january uh -huh. the i guess it is it gets to 100 centimeters the thickness of the snow so it's quite even okay. difficult to walk on the snow and it, uh, especially you have to uh, what is that black snow you have to mm. be cautious about black snow because you easily slip over it but uh, the it is quite beautiful in montreal when it's winters right. the only and, problem is the breezes the freezing temperature because okay. it goes as low as minus 30 degrees minus 30 degrees yeah and so is there any like can people work at that temperature you know that's the most interesting part because uh, uh, at in winters you get paid extra you are paid the bonuses you get paid for the night shift there is an extra bonus so that's the actually uh, opportunity uh, for students to work there uh, and what about the clothes or shoes for that kind of like, should they buy it from India or should they go to Canada and buy it? Yeah, I bought them from India and they were they were durable, so okay. it's not much of a problem. Because the jacket you buy in India for I guess it was around six thousand rupees, six six seven thousand rupees. Mm -hmm. six, mm -hmm. Okay, so that particular jacket when you buy in Canada, it is around three fifty dollars. Three fifty dollars is around seventeen thousand, right? Yeah. So okay. So okay. so I don't I didn't notice much of any difference in both the quality material, mm. and even the boots they are quite durable, but they were only durable for one winter. So okay. I will look have I would okay. have to look up for the upcoming winters. But yeah, uh, you can buy them from India. There's not much of an issue. Okay. Great. Um, so we have five more minutes and we'll take one or two more questions. Right. No problem. So, yeah. So what Jan 2021 intake will be like? Is it still, okay, so will the Jan 2021 intake be online or what are the possibilities of, you know, offline face-to-face of -face classes? No, um, the online classes uh, or that particular schedule would be till this December only for the fall 2020. After that, the things would go on to go back to normal. Even now, all the things have gone back to normal. Things mm -hmm. are reopening. All the places are reopening. The colleges are considering to open or have face-to-face -face classes by September or October. They are still discussing on it. But the universities have um, already mentioned that they will conduct their face-to-face -face classes from January onward. So it is quite certain that we'll have a face-to-face -face, uh, Yeah, that, for, that okay. is, um, that there are 95% chance that the face-to-face -face classes will resume from January. Okay, right. And we have a question. Okay, so what kind of part-time job opportunities do we get? Right, so what is the actual part-time job which we get? See, uh, part-time jobs when you talk about part-time jobs there are a lot of part-time jobs but there aren't much that you would like to do and they are quite breathtaking so mm -hmm. uh, you need to understand uh -huh. that there's uh -huh. a difference between part-time and internships and internships you don't get easily because of mm -hmm. the you don't have experience 
of how things work in Canada. You get those opportunities by a co-op program or when you have completed one year of your study and you are engaged in several communities in the university. So, so you get just, your link. Just a second. Yeah, just a second. As you said that internships are offered to students who have completed one year of study, right? Yeah. So does it, in, so if, if a student, uh, you know, attends the fall semester online, right? So mm -hmm. would it be counted as his one year of study? Because yeah, in the surely. US, hmm. No, it would be surely counted as your um, year of study because uh, you have been involved into education system that is applicable or that is followed by Canada. So the main thing is uh, the education system or the working environment that is practiced in here in Canada. You are a part of it for how long you have been part of it. In my experience, as far as I know, I haven't seen any student get internship in first year of its study. So that's why I mentioned one year of study. If you are um, talented enough, you can obviously get an internship in even in your first year of studies. But in my experience, I haven't seen anyone. So apart from that, part-time jobs, there are a lot of part-time jobs. There are different organizations, factories that provide you with part-time jobs. For me, when I started my part-time job, my first was, uh, first one was at a food, uh, food organization that was food company. So uh, I had to verify barcodes there. Mm -hmm if they are valid for mm -hmm. a particular order or not. So that was the task I first got in Canada. So uh, for the part time mm -hmm. jobs, you have to be quite uh, prepared because uh, mm -hmm. you won't get exactly what you expect of. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Right, right. So we have a question here. Um, so does having experience in India count in internships or part time jobs? Some of them consider it, some of them don't. Because uh, when I was applying for the internships, there were companies that accepted it, but there were clearly some companies that questioned me while interviewing, what experience do you have in Canada? Mm -hmm. So they were like, uh, I mentioned that I have particular experience in this field back in my home country. But they were like, uh, you have any experience in that field? here in Canada. So mm -hmm. obviously it wasn't. So there is a 50-50 chance. Most of the companies ask you about it, but many of them don't. So mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. a clearly 50-50 right. chance. Right. So, okay. So we have, uh, so this is the last question with us. Uh, what are the difficulties you and other international students face? And what is the reality of international students in Canada? See, it is just a hope that you move abroad, your life is simple and all, but actually it isn't. Your life just gets started and you just get kicked in. So uh, it isn't like uh, things go as per what you dreamt of, but it's clearly an experience. So mm -hmm. if you are planning for it, go for it because obviously there's a huge difference in the st living standards the educational system the job opportunities but obviously you need to face some of the difficulties there are many fraudulent companies that would try to reach you and uh, you can get caught up with but mm -hmm. you need to be aware you need to grow your network and that would be the things you need to keep in your mind because mm -hmm. there ha I have been a lot of situations uh, where students have got stuck or were stuck because of their one particular mistake. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest you to be thorough with any of the decisions you make in right, right. any of the countries apart mm -hmm. from your home country. So the struggle is real, right? It is actually because yes. you have to look after yourself, you have uh -huh. to prepare your meals, you have to work, you have to study. Uh -huh. So there are uh -huh. a lot of things going on. Okay, 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 right. So yeah, so that is it, um, Saranjot. Uh, thanks a lot for um, 
kicking them out for uh, all of the um, attendees and have a nice day. Okay. Sure, thank you. The day, has, the day has just started over there, right? Yeah, it's, I guess it's uh, it is 10.30. 10 yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> most of us have our uh, part-time jobs on weekends. So uh -huh. <laughs> most of the students while right now are sleeping even okay, in okay. my apartment. So they're like, okay, why are you awake this morning, early morning? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry to wake you up. Uh, nah, 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 that's, uh, that's not an issue. At least right. I got one day when I'm awake early in the morning. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. All the best to all of the guys those are applying and just be mentally prepared that life isn't easy. Okay. As right. it seems. Right. Okay. Right. Have a okay. good day. Okay then. Okay then. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thanks bye. 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 Bye.